Hello all, Seriously is here again. It's a bit of a tips and tricks video today. We're going to look at manufacturing center recipes. And uh, this is a bit of an end game or medium game sort of thing. I mean, you can you can break into these, oh, break down the door and get into these pretty early game. Uh, but the recipes you learn aren't necessarily, I should have been paying attention to this. I don't know a lot of words yet. Let's see what the riddle is. Pressure. Uh, pick up metal debris. I think uh, increasing my weight to simulate a Viking is the right idea. There we go. We've got it. Okay. Knowing more words would have really helped. Perfect. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, so now we have a choice of nanites, units, or a recipe, and you might not know what these recipes are good for. Uh, so we have a lot of options. There is not just this page. Uh, there is two pages. We also have this page here. Uh, and we're going to mostly look at this page here today, uh, but there are some things here we're going to look at as well real quickly. Uh, firstly, you can see that I've already done a few of these on this new character. Um, I'm not sure which one of these you get from the regular story. I think dihydrogen and ion batteries you get just from the game, and warp cells for sure. You, you learn those recipes just from playing. But I've unlocked the Atlas Passes and the good fuel. Uh, that'll fill your drive completely, no matter how good it is. And uh, over here, we have some of the interesting things to, to make that you're going to be asked for to craft items in your ships and to repair items when you go through a black hole, etc, etc. Uh, but some of these we don't really need to make. Uh, we don't need the recipes for. Uh, these four down here, we do need a recipe for. Uh, they can only be purchased or crafted if you have this recipe. But I believe, let me take a quick peek, yeah, all five of these items, all six of these items, can be crafted in uh, medium or large refiners uh, without the recipe. You're going to need other items than you would from the recipe. As you can see here, we only need 150 oxygen to cra craft a superoxide crystal, uh, but you're going to need probably about two minutes and more resources than that. I think it's oxygen and tritium that combine in a refiner to make one of these crystals. It's going to take two minutes instead of a split second, but you can do it. You don't need to purchase I, uh, these items and you don't need to f hunt them down in the wild, you can make them in a refiner. So you don't technically need these recipes, but in order to access these recipes, you do need to get these recipes. They're locked behind these ones. So I might pick these because I would like to get access to these items. As you can see, I have gathered up quite a few factory override units before I got to this manufacturing center, just so I could buy a bunch of recipes. It's an idea you can do too. Uh, you can get these from Nexus Missions, that's where I got most of mine from. Uh, you can also unlock these manufacturing centers and not choose a recipe and walk away, and on PC you should get two every time you do that. And on, I believe, both console versions you only get one for some reason or maybe it's PC that's bugged positively. So on to the next page, we're going to look at these recipes. Uh, these ones here, I believe you learn from the base building missions, the, the main mission you do in the game. If you follow it all the way, you should learn all of these recipes, I think. I don't remember purchasing any, uh, but the important side we're going to look at today is the other end of the spectrum. Uh, so something I want to talk about is these two devices. These are some end game crafting items that are worth a ridiculous amount of units. Uh, every item along the way is also a very expensive item to sell, and you need almost all of these in order to make these items. So you need a lot of recipes and you need a lot of factory override units to unlock everything on here. And uh, both of these are worth the same amount. Uh, now, there's a lot of people who make stasis device farms, specifically and only for stasis device farms. Both of these items require differ, 
different amounts of plants and different plants to create. Uh, the plants for these ones that you need are a bit less. You're going to need to craft, where is that item on here? I don't have them, they're all locked out. Uh, hot ice, no, uh, it is living glass, I already have it. Uh, so you're going to need lubricant and you are going to need glass. Uh, you'll get these recipes by playing the game, as I said. But crafting living glass, like aka lubricant, requires less plants than crafting um, this unstable gel and acid. You are going to need a lot of cactus flesh and you are going to need a lot of fungal mold to make one of each of these. So it's more plants. Uh, frost crystals grow very fast so you can make the uh, the other side of the equation for the cryo pumps, hot ice. Uh, wait, no, where do you need uh, frost crystals for? Ah, the heat capacitors. Well, I guess you need that either way for both of them, so the frost crystals are a wash. Either way, it's a little bit faster to go up for stasis devices. However, as you can see, by going through this chain on this side, you have to pick this portable reactor here. You, you can't learn any other recipe beyond that without picking the portable reactor. Also, you need this recipe here for both. Both of these items require a quantum processor, you can see. So we need to pick this one as well. But now if we look at the list, we can see that a portable reactor is not required for a stasis device. So we've already learned one recipe that isn't required for this device. We've already gone down this branch of the tree towards the fusion igniter by one. We can avoid paying one recipe here and one recipe here to make fusion igniters instead. It's a little bit faster if you are tight on factory override units and you want to rush to an end game crafting item. I would consider, at least recommend, you look at the, the pros and cons of making fusion igniters instead. Uh, I like to make my farms for the plants that will give you access to both in equal amounts, just for that reason. I don't know who will have what recipes. So you can go through either, but if you are short on recipes or don't want to do manufacturing centers uh, in larger quantities, consider fusion igniters. It's a little bit faster of a path, uh, recipe-wise. Another way to save recipes is to consider ignoring most of these ones. Uh, to unlock any of them, you're going to have to get aronium. Let's get that condensate. We're going to need that for both, no matter what we want as well. And we're going to need all of these for... Uh, well, at least these three for both of them, no matter what, and this middle column. Uh, but in the yellow ones here, in the end, uh, really the only two recipes you're probably going to want to have yourself are these two. Uh, and to get them, you're going to have to learn Magna Gold and or Grantine, Grantine, however you pronounce that. I call it Granite. Uh, because most of these items here, you're going to find just in your regular play playing of the game. Uh, all of these come back from frigate missions uh, in, in pretty good quantities, uh, especially Magna Gold. Yeah, I get that one a lot. Um, Dirty Bronze is a little bit more uncommon in my experience than the others, but I believe they are have equal chance and I just have a bit random number generator bad luck on that. Uh, so you could learn that recipe if you can if you want to consider it. Um, especially these two I would avoid paying the recipes for. You're going to get a, an overwhelming amount of these just from playing the game whenever you're killing pirates. Basically any mission you take to kill pirates, you're going to get a lot of this stuff from. You're going to see it in huge quantities. It's going to come back from your frigate missions, sometimes a reward from, uh, from missions you take. So uh, these two are the ones you can definitely save on. If you want, you can go down this chain to learn these two, and that's going to help you because when you get these items from such uh, sources in the game, you'll be able to immediately craft them into these two. That said, you can probably also avoid these two. Uh, on my endgame characters, uh, where I'm sending out five frigate missions a day, I'm also getting these back in, in fairly large quantities. Once you get some S-class frigates, you're probably going to be getting these back as your rewards from most of your missions. So you don't really need to craft these 
in a lot of quantity, you can probably avoid this entire yellow chain if you are sending out frigate missions. Uh, you should also probably be doing Nexus missions because you can get any of these items. Just pay attention, the rewards change every 10 minutes with the missions. So 10 minutes on the hour, at the start of the hour, it will be one set of missions, and at 10 after the hour, it will change. At 20 after the hour, it will change again. Uh, so check back, uh, you know, you don't have to take the missions if you don't see any rewards or missions you like. You can skip out on them, but you can get pretty much any of these items, especially these ones, appear in, in huge quantities as Nexus mission rewards. Uh, but you can avoid buying these recipes, because you're going to learn these ones anyway. And perhaps you only want to go down this side of the tree and only learn fusion igniters. Uh, if you want to do that, the recipes we're going to need, as you can see I've already started it, we're going to need the salt, we're going to need the carbon. As I said, you need these three for either side. You need semiconductors and superconductors for either side. And then you can save on these two and only buy these two if you want to go down the fusion igniter side. So I've spent uh, 10 <laughs> of my 13 units. Uh, let's see if there's anything I want on the other page before I go through. Uh, four isn't enough to get me access, or three isn't enough to get me access to these four. Uh, so I'll just probably spend them on this side. I do want to unlock both sets. Uh, so what I'm going to do is get the high-end items because you can also get uh, hot ice and cryo pumps as rewards from missions and that will allow me to craft cryogenic chambers without having any of the preceding items. So I'll spend two items to learn how to make the highest tier items and I definitely recommend rushing to at least one of them, if not both of them, because crafting these will net you a significant amount more money than any of the components along the way. Despite how much you think they're worth, when you get them as a reward, you're like, I gotta sell that circuit board, it's worth a fortune. No, no, turn that into the quantum processor. It is worth significantly more than a superconductor, super, yeah, a superconductor and a polyfiber circuit board is by themselves or put together. So definitely get the highest tier item you can and combine things before you sell them. You'll save the most, uh, you'll earn the most units that way. So that's about all we would want to talk about today. I think I will actually buy the hot ice as my last recipe. Like I said, you don't have to. You can just walk away. Right, I'm gonna, gonna have a lot of reward items here. Alright, and that's everything for today. So on this planet, Viking Ones, that'll be what you're looking for. Uh, I used maps to find this. Uh, this is the planetary charts you want to buy in space stations to find secure sites of interest. You can see in the red text there. And these cost uh, navigation data, which I store over here on this character. So you can trade these in on the space station for maps. Exchange maps, I believe, is the dialog option you want to pick. And uh, you're going to want to pick the one that gives you this. You'll be able to see the four choices. Pick the one for secure site of interest. Uh, you land on the planet. You'll hold on PC and keyboard. It's E. And check whatever it is. You want to plot root. That's the one you want to pick. You'll do that, and it will zoom you out and focus you in on one of these, or on an operation center, or on one of a... Maybe at least one other thing. I think there are three options. There might be four. If you don't get what you want, you can either uh, reload your save from where you got out of your ship and try again, or you can just use a couple more maps. Uh, that's usually what I do. I don't mind what they call save scumming, you know, reloading your game for a better option. I don't mind doing that, but it takes a lot of time, especially on console, so I don't recommend uh, reloading a save just to get around a bad map. Just buy a few extra maps. Navigation data is very common. You get them at every one of these you discover. Like I haven't been to this one yet. Save and chart. Not only will I get nanites, I'll get a free navigation data just from, from activating that. Boom. Done. I can fly up to the station and buy another map now. Simple as that. 
All right, everybody, that's everything I wanted to talk about about uh, manufacturing centers today. Uh, consider saving up your things, your, your units, before you get here so you can buy more recipes. Uh, consider which recipes are most important to you. Think about fusion igniters. Uh, they're not as bad as you might think, despite the ease of making the plants of the stasis devices. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, yeah. Thanks for coming, everybody. Have a good time. Bye.